In this video, you'll learn how to submit project updates, design point updates, and solution component updates to an EKM portal from Workbench. An EKM portal is ideal for long-running solutions that do not fit within your workstation's resources, as it provides access to remote HPC resources, including those on the ANSYS Enterprise Cloud. As an additional benefit, the EKM web application enables you to monitor portal jobs from any location using any web-enabled device. To be able to submit a job from Workbench to an EKM portal, you must create a connection to the EKM portal from Workbench. You may have already done this if you have used the Save to Repository or Open from Repository Actions. If you have not created a connection yet, you can do so by selecting File, Manage Connections, then clicking Create Connection. I'll enter the URL of the EKM portal. then enter my username and password. To avoid being prompted for my credentials every time I use this connection, I'll enable Save Credentials. When I click Next, my credentials are verified, and I can select the EKM workspace that I'd like to access. I'll then specify a connection name to help me easily identify the connection. Then specify that I want to open the connection. With the connection created, I can now submit jobs to the EKM portal. To update my Workbench project on remote resources, I'll right-click and select Properties. Under Project Update, I'll set the Update option to Submit to Portal. I'll click Portal Connection and select the connection that I created earlier. Next, I'll select a queue to submit the job to. These are queues that have been set up on the portal and are synchronized with queues configured in RSM. Each queue contains the cluster queue and configuration that determines where the job will be sent and how cluster resources will be used. I can also specify whether I want to update my geometry locally or on the cluster before submitting the project update to the EKM portal, and set the component execution mode to either serial or parallel. Each solution component can further restrict its execution mode to serial and use fewer processes for parallel jobs under its own component level setting. When I update the project, the job will be sent to the EKM portal and queued for execution on remote resources. I can also submit design point updates to an EKM portal. I'll click the parameter set to view the design point update process settings. I'll set the update option to submit to portal and select a portal connection. Once again, I can specify job submission settings. I can also specify how licenses will be checked out for the remote job and specify whether I want to group design points into one job or multiple jobs. I can also submit selected solution component updates to an ECAM portal. Components that support updates via portal include the mechanical application, MAPDL, Fluent, CFX, and Polyflow. If I select the solution cell on a system in my project, I can once again set the update option to submit to portal and select the portal connection and queue. Different solution components will have different settings available. When setting up a mechanical job, for example, I must choose a predefined solve process setting for the mechanical application to use. Note that mechanical component updates can only be submitted to an EKM portal if mechanical APDL is selected as the solver. To monitor my portal jobs from Workbench, I'll click Job Monitor on the status bar. Here I can view the status of a job, perform actions on it, and view and save a job log. To monitor and manage my portal jobs remotely using the EKM web application, I'll simply open a web browser on any computer or mobile device. I'll enter the URL of the EKM portal and sign in. Here I can select jobs to see the status of all submitted jobs. Selecting a job displays the job's details and parameters. Live monitors may also be available depending on the type of job being run. This concludes the video on submitting jobs to an eCAM portal from Workbench.